Hey, Joy Blue here, and I want to tell you about the join. Uh, specifically, I want to tell you about the outer join. So first off, uh, I want to look at this the customer table. So I'm going to select from that. And what we have here is um, a list of the customers that um, this company has. And so with the customers is an employee that's associated with them. And we also have an employee table that has those employees. So what I want to do is I want to put the customer table um, together with their salesman uh, employee name. And so in order to do that, I have to join. And so I am going to join the customer table. Um, and I'm going to join it with the employee table. And I'm going to join on the customer um, dot salesman employee number. I want that to equal the employee table dot employee number. And so let's do that join and see what we end up getting. And so we've got four rows here. And so, and, and with each of the rows, we actually have the employee that's associated with those. But now something looks a little odd to me. If I go back to just the customer table and I query that, there's six customers and I only got four of them. And so that, that bothers me because I really wanted a list of all the customers with their salesman employees. Well, what happened here is, first off, by doing just join, um, what, I, what I've what i actually done is an inner join. And so the inner join, what it does is it only, it has to match everything, in our case, the salesman employee number over to the employee employee number. Well, these two customers don't have a salesman employee associated with them. So when we try to do that equal to, it throws them out. And so we miss them. So if we review this again, we only get those first four customers. And so what I want, though, is I want a whole list of all the customers, um, even if they don't have an employee number. So in order to do that, what we need to do is what's called an outer join. And specifically, we need to do a left outer join. And the reason we do a left outer join is because we want everybody in this left table, the customer table, even if they don't exist in the employee table. And so let's do a query and see what happens. Now we've got everybody that we want. So you can see as we join over to the employee table, when it doesn't match, all we get is a bunch of nulls for the employee that's associated with that customer. And that is the whole list of what we wanted. Now we could bring some columns forward so we could look at like the employee name. At the front of the table with the customer name. So we could look at customer, customer dot customer name. And then just get everything else. And so we can reorder our columns so we can get a better picture of what's going on here. So we can see what customers with what employee. And so that's what's called a left outer join. And that's different from an inner join because the inner join has to match. While the outer join, if it doesn't match, it still gets everything. In this case, since the left outer join, it gets everything from the customer table, even if it doesn't exist in the employee table. So that's an introduction into the outer join uh, that's in the SQL language.